every town has its haunted house that everybody knows about and is told to stay away by the locals. Or they tell you the dark tales and legends of the place and what happened to it. If you just go outside of Elizabethtown, PA, you'll find one that is somewhat forgotten, yet still has a few people who know about its dark secrets. Driving along North Chickies Road, you might see a farmhouse that sits right next to an old crusty barn. That would be the Hell House of Elizabethtown. And it has a legend that's pretty gruesome. And along with people who have experienced strange phenomena there, now, I actually heard about this house back when I was in college during Halloween at Elizabethtown College, but never looked into it for a while until once I did a couple years ago. It did take a while to try and find the story to this because I only heard of word of mouth of what happened by other students when I was at the college. And I tried to find out why it was called haunted. And most people would tell me don't go there. It's an evil place. When looking into and researching this legend, this is what I found. The house was once owned by a farmer in the late 1800s or the early 1900s. The legends really don't say what the date was. And this man one day got married and had a baby. All of a sudden, one day, the man was at home on a quiet night, dark as the moon lit the area but something was off about him. He either became possessed, found out his wife cheated on him, or just absolutely lost his mind. He decided to take an ax and end the life of his wife and infant child, to only then take his own life. But before taking his own life, he decided to set the house on fire. And with that fire, it must have trapped some type of bad energy there because it's still there. For locals who are brave enough to visit the house after it happened, they would notice strange things throughout the house while exploring. Coming up to the house, one of the windows upstairs will crack, but after looking back, when leaving, the crack disappears. The door, which is bolted, will not open during the day, but if you walk up to it late at night, it will open on its own as if the nails were never in there. And if you decide to just take a stroll around the house, you will start to hear screams of the wife and the child. So actually about a year ago, I posted this on a subreddit about the story. I wanted to see if anybody else had their own experience there because I never got to actually go there. And with that post, some responses came in of people who had actually gone to the house and had their own experiences. Funny Explorer 2129 commented on my post. Been to this house many a times. I am a local to Elizabethtown. The story we always heard was the farmer went nuts, his wife then took the kids to the barn and hung them up and gutted them like deer. Then went to the silo out back where he burnt himself alive. I don't know what's true and what isn't, but I know I've been there many of times and had a bunch of messed up experiences. It's also said that the more unwelcome you are, the more blinds are pulled up on the second floor. I've literally turned to say something and looked back and the blinds had all been pulled up. And then another user by RaveMom42096 had her own experience that she liked to tell. I've been to this house many times with my friends. This house definitely had something going on. I have witnessed, heard, and seen many things happen at this place each time I have gone. The last time I tried to go, I noticed that there was a trailer now and the grass cut. I believe someone bought it and is fixing it up. The story goes is the husband built a wooden addition onto the back of the house as it was made of stone. They say that he was possessed when he burnt the wooden addition in the back down with him, his wife, and newborn. How true the possession part is, I don't know. But I do believe something bad is there, and definitely a fire happened. The chimney in the back was still standing, 
when I went all those times, with a charred piece of wood still attached. The very first time I went to this house, some crazy stuff happened, and I woke up twice that night from nightmares about the house that woke me up out of my sleep. I sat straight up bawling my eyes out. I've never had nightmares since or like that ever before. There is something evil in that house, and I feel drawn to it, which isn't good. I've been to that place over 15 times, easy. Finally, Insanity Pleaser wrote their own story. I've been there numerous times. As soon as I pull up, before I even exit my car, I get that overwhelming sense of evil and fear. It's worth mentioning that it is illegal to trespass on the property and has a fine warning posted on the door. I've had several friends who had been inside multiple times. They used to party there. They always heard music playing from somewhere and a baby crying, woman screaming, and footsteps, etc. I had four separate friends who don't know each other tell me about the supposed red ring in the baby's room. I believe. Anyway, when the two of them touched it, they said it was wet and left red stains on their hands. They all told me how the ring left drippings running down the walls as if they were freshly painted. My friend also told me there are wood playing blocks in the baby's room and him and his buddy seen them moving and stacking by themselves, which freaked my friend's buddy enough to send him running outside, but not my friend himself. He said it was weird, but not terrifying. The last straw for another friend who would party in the basement with a bunch of his friends was when they heard a growl in the basement, following by something running down the stairs. They all left, and as soon as they pulled off the property, parentheses, they would park out back so as not to alert anyone who might call the authorities on them for trespassing. End parentheses. One time an old pickup truck ran up on them which he said was weird considering he knows no one was on the road when they pulled out. Just about ran my friend's truck off the road. It followed them into Elizabethtown Road, but once they passed the Chickies Church, the truck disappeared. He never went to that property ever again. I took my husband to the place, and out of nowhere, he says, Get in, we're leaving. He didn't tell me till we got home, but the upper left window blinds opened up and he saw a dark figure peering out. I think the windows are all boarded up now, but when I went online to look at the place and anyone else's experience, one of the main things was someone peering out of the upper left window. That freaked me out. I'm convinced that a demon resides on that property. I feel it every single time I visit the house. Legend says it's what drove the man to kill his family. I haven't gathered the lady balls to venture inside, but I hope to one day. Well, unfortunately, those who want to visit are going to have to uh, cancel their plans because the house is currently being worked on and renovated. Although it might be gone, I'm happy that I got to make this video and to tell its story, preserving it forever. Thanks for watching. Thank you.